We have such big news to talk about together today. That announcement yesterday that there will be a Canadian astronaut flying around the moon in 2023. Alfie, when you heard that, what do you think? I think that it's just a really, really, really great opportunity for Canada, for scientists, for younger generations, for space enthusiasts. And I'm just really, really excited for whoever is chosen to go to the Artemis mission. You've told us that you might like to be an astronaut one day, too. So that must make it really very real for you. Theron, maybe you could tell us what you thought about yes. the news. And also, I'm wondering what you might be excited to learn from this mission, from learn from this. Well, you see, we're actually going to have to be up there maybe for pen potentially a week. And this is great because this is the very first space station that's actually going to be on a planet. And we all know how big space stations are. Like when the first one was discovered, it was a huge thing. So I'm very excited to see what new discoveries we will make. And what this lunar gateway looks like, I think it's going to be smaller than the one we think of right now, but it's going to do very yes. exciting work just there yeah. in, in, in the orbit of the moon. Alfie, imagine those astronauts on that mission. They're going to be able to see an Earth rise. That might be incredible, don't you think? Yeah, very amazing. What do you think you'd be most excited about in this particular mission? I think I'd be most excited by the research, the innovative technology, and possibly, if this mission pulls off, probably a passage to Mars, actually. Exactly. It's a starting point in looking into that. But to be in deep space, how exciting. Yes. Theron, I have a very specific question for you. This is a bit of breaking news for our viewers, because part of this arrangement is that Canada is going to build another Canadarm, a Canadarm 3. And yes. That, yeah, that's right. And Theron, isn't yeah, your dad? Really he might cool. do two, two thumbs up. Tell me a little bit about the family connection to that. Well, he's actually the product manager and he's working on it. Um, and I'm surprised about the Canada Arm 3 because he helped build the last one and he's helping build the new one. So, wow. Wow yes. is right. Well, wait I'm a second. Surprised. Was there big excitement at your dinner table last night after that because of. Oh, because definitely. Of, really? <laughs> Definitely. And why did you give me a two thumbs up, Alfie? Why were you so excited about another Canada? I'm just really, really excited because when I went online, I just saw like um, how the Canada Arm 3 function. I'm like, wow, this is just a really good Canada Arm. I'm like, this is something new because I saw the way it functioned. I saw how it could detach its arms. I saw how it had detachable tools. And I just saw how I'm like, wow. And I just was like mind blowing because this is something we're doing. And not only just something that we're doing, like your best pal's dad is doing, which must be really cool. Can you, it we is. probably keep, yeah. you probably can't give us any leaked details, but I don't know. I uh, can, give you, can you give me some? Detail. Okay, give me some slight yeah. details. What's it going to well, look like? It, well, it is going to look like the last one, mm -hmm. but it does this time going to be using fully automated AI and it's going to be able yeah. to move and repair parts of the gateway station. Really? Yes. Okay, you tell your dad O'Neill that he can expect a call from me and we'll have him on the air too another time. Okay, we'll talk more about Definitely. this. Okay, I don't want to go into any territory that I shouldn't be breaking because these are probably pretty top secrets. Alfie, I have another yeah. question for you because something else that we're going to be watching on Monday night, something pretty special is going to be happening in the night sky. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, it's something called the Christmas star. And it last happened 800 years ago, which was about 1226. And it happens when you have the sun, the earth, and the two gas giants, Jupiter and Saturn. And they all form one straight line. And together, the sun shines on the two gas giants over here. And then it creates a really, really bright shining star in this night sky. And when you look at the southwest horizon, they're just going to be just going to look really close together. And in fact, they're so close together, they're one fifth of the diameter close together of the moon. And hmm. uh, in fact, uh, on Earth, yes, they look as they look like one huge merged ball of light. That's right. They're not really that close, are they? But to us here, they're going to look yeah. incredible. Theron, anything you want to add about that and telling us about this? I, I think it's so interesting. It's so rare. As you said, Alfie, back to it's 1226, something like this. 
it is almost like a tiny second moon, almost like an eclipse as when they align up, except the sun is going to be reflecting off of it, causing the beam of light to come down on Earth. Maybe this might explain the Christmas star phenomenon. Now, who is making plans to watch it? I definitely am going to be doing that. <laughs> you both are? Through what? Through your yeah. telescopes or what's the yes, plan? Yes, definitely. Mm, we, definitely through um, my telescope. Okay. Yeah, okay. through your tele through I'm planning to do both because you can actually see it without without a telescope or binoculars. But I'm also planning to use a telescope because this is just a really rare opportunity and I can actually potentially see the rings of Saturn. That's mm -hmm. right. That would be incredible to see those rings through your telescope. So what's the, yeah. what is the instructions? When do we look? Is it just after it's just in the, in the night sky? A, any particular time, Theron? Any, any viewing information you want us to know? I, I don't have too much, but I know that's going to be somewhere in the southwest area. Southwest. And I know that yeah. it will align again in 71 years, except it won't shine its bright. Well, I might not be around to see it, but you guys might when it comes back, yeah. which is also very cool. Yes. <laughs> Listen, it's probably going to be like 71 I'll be. It's yeah, 60 years. 82. Same. 82. Oh. And I bet 82, just as excited cool. about space then. Listen, you want to know something? You are two of our biggest stars for 2020. It's been so much fun to meet you both and to have you on and share your love of space with us. Thank you for this morning and have a good day at school. Thank you. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Too. Bye, Farron. Bye, Bye Alfie. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye. 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 See you in 2021.